lost this season on in the game we saw against Cloud where he tried to 9 pull and pull all the drones. So I guess we shouldn't look too much into that. But TLO putting up a really, really good fight and perhaps was even slightly ahead from time to time. Love the little things that he was thinking ahead of, like getting that second Roach Warren. Seems like a silly thing, but I thought it was so smart because if he would have ended up losing that Roach Warren, we would be the ones screaming, oh my god, that's what happens when you have your Roach Warren in the front. So really smart play by TLO, excellent play by TLO. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough and it's, it's almost never enough playing against this guy, man. Yeah, Hyun proven to be an absolute powerhouse. Uh, he's, uh, he's quickly climbing my uh, personal ranking for contention as one of the best Zergs on the planet. And look at this. Nine pool, man. Nine pool for Hyun. Uh, curious to see when TLO is going to scout it and curious to see if he is going to drone scout at all or not. Could be very, very dangerous against, uh, against Hatch first. It's... It's, it's on paper, it's supposed to be a bit of a build order win, but uh, we have seen players pull off miraculous defenses, and a little so bit of it comes down to exactly how Hyun chooses to do it. You can go nine pool, send lings and drones. You can go nine pool, uh, get speed and do something like that. You can go nine pool and go up to bane lings even. Uh, uh, it is going to be a hatch first for TL Oven. Oh, a hatch first with no drone scout. And this is the state of ZVZ. This is normal. I mean, it's it's very, very common for players to not send out this early scout. TLO will have played against this many times before. Okay. At least he's going to go 15, uh, 15 hatch, 14 pool, so he's not trying to squeeze in two extra drones. So he's going to have links out a little bit quicker, might be able to get a spine crawler up eventually. Very curious to see how uh, all in Hyung is going to go with this, but if he's going to pull a few drones as well. As we see, uh, this is a <laughs> replay cast, guys. Mm -hmm. TLO asked for a short pause there for a moment, and now. Now he knows, as those links cross on Tilo's first overlord. We have a, a single drone going out, Kevin, not to make nope. a spine crawler, but to make a hatchery. Yeah, for a second I thought it might be for a spine, but it's not going to be the case. Tilo knows what he's facing. Do you think uh, he must force this? Uh, uh, he must force a cancel on this hatchery, no? Uh, I, I don't know. It depends a little bit on how Hyun chooses uh, to do this. If I don't think. I think Hyun is going to ignore it for now and just going to try to do damage. So actually, he's going to attack it immediately, which of course gives TLO a lot of extra time to get Lings out on his own, get his queen out. Uh, so mm, there's not going to be any save in this hatch. Though, no, Kev. he's going to have to cancel it, but he's buying time for himself. He is successfully doing that. There's the cancellation. That hatch very, will be very delayed. Very, very last minute cancel. Tilo comes through this with a drone lead, but he's going to be a little bit yet. behind on his hatch. It ain't over yet, Ben. Tilo's producing links right now, but it's still going to be a small uh, micro battle over here. Perhaps Tilo is going to be uh, forced to pull drone a few times, or to pull his drones a few times, so he's going to lose a little bit of mining time. So, yes, he has a worker lead, but... As you said, the hatchery for Young is already more than halfway done. And there's still way more links over here, but for Young, TLO has to be careful. He did have a better uh, concave over here. As silly as it sounds, but there are concaves for links. Ooh, and uh, TLO going to continue coming forward, but uh, with Oh, the, the drone, the drone, so exposed. You can just right click on the drone and kill it. That's what he wants yeah. to do, but I don't think it's going to be possible. Uh, finally, TLO has enough Zerglings, I think, to stave this no, off. No, actually, somehow not, man. It's oh, okay, I guess with the drone absorbing a little bit of damage. For a second, it looked that like Hyun was going to win that link battle. And as the dust settles, we see Hyun comes out of that with a single drone advantage. Seven, yeah. Well, now 17 drones to 15. But also a hatchery advantage. Yep, and the hatchery uh, advantage is a huge deal. And if we see the production tab, we can see that he's making two queens right now. Uh, so he's going to have a grand total of three queens. He's going to have a lot of larva at his disposal. Hyun definitely with, a, with an advantage here. Hyun gambling a little bit in the opening phases of this game, but it turns out really, really well. Now, what would be a bad start for Hyun then? What would have been a build that would have been terrible for him to face? Well, 15 hatch, I'm sorry, 15 spawning pool, 15 hatch is not all that unco uncommon. And that would have put TLO in a slightly better position. If I think best case scenario for T TLO is if he opens up like speed links. Uh, but speed link expand span has all but gone away. Speed link, unless you're me. Unless you're riding. But the riding build would have probably been pretty good then. Yeah, would have been fantastic. Uh, Tilo is going to end up losing this uh, Overlord. He did see all, queen, all three Queens at least, so it's perhaps a small tell on what's going on on the other side of the game. He does still have an Overlord in good position over here as well. I uh, just got handed a note. Uh, this will be our final game of the night, Kevin. It all comes down to this as uh, Xenio was not able to play tonight. Oz will get the walkover win there. And mm. that's or, me, or is man. that backwards? Uh, ex uh, forgive me, Oz was not able to play tonight. So Xenio gets the walkover win. Select. Yeah, but also get the walkover win over Galaxy. Would have already uh, surprised me quite a bit because I feel that Xenio is like almost always here. Team Liquid in general very good with making yeah. the players show up for games. There's almost never a case where a Team Liquid player is not able to play. And if they are not able to play, they at least let us know way in time. It's not like they just don't show up.
So props to Team Liquid for that one. It settles me a little bit, Bam, but let's focus on the bright side. And it is Yon versus TLO, game number two. Um, let's see if TLO is going to be able to um, yeah, slow the pathetic crawl back into this game as he is down quite a few workers. Yep, uh, the uh, the advantage that uh, Hyun created for himself has has blossomed into a pretty substantial one. Eleven workers up. He is going to just go ahead and uh, play this out in the most standard way possible. We see double Evo's going down, spine crawler going down, and I expect. Wait a second. Is he going to go Muta? Uh, it could still be any number of things. You could still go like Infestor Lane, quite frankly. Uh, but I'm starting to think maybe just maybe we'll see spot. Ah, there's the Roach Warren. And uh, Tilo tries to get a scout off, but uh, Spine Crawl at the front, Queens at the front, they're going to deny that. Mm. Where did I miss that, Ben? Where did I miss the scout? Or is it this little thing you were talking it's about? It's this little blood spot on the creep, man. There ain't no blood spot. <laughs> it was there. He's very good at cleaning the up. Queen just got done mopping This the is Dexter, man. He on also knows Dexter. He kills people and nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> Never gets Scott, even though he always has the scary Man, face. I like watched <gasps> like I watched like the first four seasons of Dexter in a weekend, and now I just can't watch it anymore. I, you know, Dexter was an okay series, but I don't find it amazing. I find it okay. It's watching. Really. Recently, I found a new series called The League about the fantasy football league. I find it super funny. It's really really cool. So if you guys have too much time, if there's somehow not enough Starcraft for you guys to entertain yourself, Ben. By the way, TLO on the other end is going for Spire. Yeah. So He's getting Spire as well as Roach upgrades, which yeah, is... Yeah, I was kind of surprised by that, because I was thinking about it earlier, and then when you were talking about Muta play, I was looking at TLO's base, and I was like, well, that seems possible, but you were actually talking about Eon, and I was like, nah, maybe I'm wrong, because TLO's already getting plus one on the Roaches. But I guess that's just already preparing for that eventual transition, which really trademarks TLO play, where he often thinks, not just at the next phase of the game, but he thinks two or three phases ahead. He's definitely planning a couple steps ahead. The problem that he's going to face, though, is that Oz is just... Already, really, Oz. Hyun is already really, really uh, catapulting himself further and further ahead. He's got uh, he's got eight roaches out. He's, his third base is done, and he's continuing to pump roaches. We're going to see Oz attack with plus one. Now, it's it's great that TLO will also have plus one, but he doesn't have any units out, Kev. Still Hyun, man. <laughs> he said Oz again. Did I? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> what is, what is wrong with my brain? Well, Oz is probably uh, on your mind right now, Ben, as we are, of course, very sad that Oz with Xenia won't be happening, but hopefully, Ben, soon that's all going to be over. TLO is going to produce his mutas right now, so his supply looks really low for a short amount of times. Now it's going to get a little bit better, but uh, if Ion is just going to march across the map, and with all these yeah. roaches, yes, the mutas are able to deal with the roaches eventually, but this is going to be in time. We've, we've seen scenarios where roaches just kill each and every single drone, and yes, there are mutas shooting on top of them, and the roach count will slowly but steady start dwindling, but... If he's able to kill 20, 25 drones, he's going to be more than fine. Ten mutas will kill a lot of roaches, and they'll kill them pretty fast. But uh, TLO is not going to get out of this without taking any damage. Uh, here comes Hyun, and uh, what is he going to do? Uh, is he going to focus on this hatch, or is he going to continue making his way over to the main base? That's exactly uh, what he does, right to the main. And uh, oh, he still has to get past the spike oh, there there are just, oh, he's going to have no trouble plowing through those, man. This is so many roaches, Kevin, and TLO is in a terrible, terrible position as these roaches will make their way up the ramp and into the main base. A couple roaches left behind in the natural, just forcing oh, TLO to TLO. choose where he wants pretty, to defend. Pretty smart, man, pulling all the way drones immediately, and there's still quite a few roaches over here, but I guess he didn't lose as many drones as he potentially could have lost. He might end up losing the layer, though, and that's, of course, a big deal. Does he have roach feet? Does TLO... Yeah, yes. Uh, it's in production. Imagine if he ends up losing the roach one, man. That would be uh, catastrophic. That would be absolutely... Oh, uh, it's not even going to come to that. TLO knows the situation has gotten well out of hand. The supplies at the end of that game, 150 to 94. There were 30 roaches on the map for Oz, and all TLO had was... You did it again. For Hyun. <laughs> Man. I'm going to have to call a meeting and tell my producer not to hand me notes mm -hmm. until we're at commercial. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, guys, for getting tongue-tied like that. Uh, Hyun takes out TLO 2-0. Some really nice games. First game was yeah. fantastic. First game, I think TLO displayed uh, really awesome ZVZ style. And overall, this was a re uh, wasn't... Uh, it was, a, I wouldn't say, a really good day for or a very good day for TLO. And it's only a 1-1, but he did manage to grab that win over Puma, and he played extremely well against Hyun in game yeah. one. So that definitely counts for something. Uh, but at the end of the day, Ben, Eon just keeps on winning games. Picked up another $150. 5-0 in the NASL. This guy. And he played all his games. There was not a single walkover or postponed game for whatever for Eon. Eon is always there. 
Heon always plays and Heon always wins. No free passes for Heon. That game brought to you guys by Azo Monitors. Uh, the best, the brightest, the fastest gaming and production monitors on the planet. You can pick up your own Azo Monitor today by visiting azo.com slash na. Mm -hmm. See what I did there? Worked in the rhyme. <laughs> Missed it. Uh, guys, no more games coming up, but uh, we will have our final closing thoughts on uh, NASL Division 2. So stick around, short break, and then we're back.